One of Iran's most loved footballers has come down hard on the state of the game. Hassan Raushan, who played and scored in Iran's first World Cup appearance, says Iranian football is at the point where the country shouldn't even think about qualifying for next year's tournament. Sreya Leni reports. They were Asia's top team, and for years Iran was synonymous with fierce footballing competition. But a lot has changed. Now the so-called princes of Persia are sliding. Iranian footballing great Hassan Roshan has watched it happen. He says arrogance, money and mismanagement are to blame. Some things have entered football, such as money and luxurious cars. The players don't think about football for the national team. They think about what they'll earn this year. Roshan was part of the team that gave Iran its first World Cup appearance in 1978 and three Asian Cup titles. But after that, Iran never won the tournament again. And now it's in danger of not qualifying for next year's World Cup. Both analysts and former footballers say coaching selections are also to blame. Last year, Carlos Kiros was recruited. They brought him as a sedative to help. But neither he nor foreign nor Iranian coaches work with coaches at domestic clubs. And it's a serious problem. The disputes between players and coaches here are public and in the past 10 years have resulted in high-profile sackings and refusals to play. We're at one of the biggest matches on the Iranian football calendar, the Tehran Derby between arch-rivals Esteghlal and Perspolis or Piruzi. Now, despite the condition of Iranian football, this match still brings out the most die-hard of fans from across the country. This year, it's a sellout. But despite the numbers, the fans are giving up hope. I won't come to watch Iran's matches anymore because I know Iran won't qualify for the World Cup. So why should I come? Roshan says Iran should stop thinking about making it to the World Cup altogether because, he says, unless it fixes its problems at home, it won't see many more moments like this. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.